Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Uh, chances are you just saw that uh, that little 15 second introduction there, if you didn't skip the first 15 seconds or so. And as you can see by the title, this video is going to be about how to make your own introduction for free, extremely easy. Now keep in mind, this is just the amateurish kind of way of doing it. It's not like um, flash or anything. It's not going to be extremely customizable. But you will get results like I just showed you right there in my last video, or my last... Um, my last, my introduction like you just saw. So um, I'm going to go through it on my screen capturing software and show you guys exactly how I do it and then pull up the actual introduction itself. So um, thanks for watching. Alright, there are a few steps to doing this in the first place. The first thing you're going to do is go on, open up any web browser and you're going to go to www.animoto.com. That is the first thing. You're going to get to this Animoto website, and the first thing you want to do is sign up. I created an account already, so I would just sign in, and I will take you through this whole entire process in a second. So when you hit sign up, it's just going to ask you for your email address, name, a little bit about you, um, date of birth, postal code, etc. Then you put in a little security code, and then you sign up. So what I'm going to do is sign in real quick. So hold on, I'll pause the video. And this is what it looks like now that I've signed in. You can see I have several drafts in Animoto of my actual intro introduction video. And this is my final draft here, which you saw at the beginning of this video. So what you're going to do once you've signed in and, you know, done the confirmation email and everything, we're going to hit the Create Video button, where you can do several things. First thing you're going to do is um, get... No, the first thing you're going to do when you create a video is select yes whether you're not going to create a short 30 second video or a full length video I did a 30 second short so just click on that first thing I did was get images from my computer now you can saw you saw that I took a number of images from my webcam and from uh, my digital camera and that's the images that I uploaded from my computer you know it'll pull up the uh, the documents you can go into your pictures and everything and upload the video upload, uh, upload the pictures from your computer once you've uploaded videos hit the upload button I'll just upload one uh, little picture, I guess. One second. All right, I found my pictures. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna control click a few of them and hit open. So first, it'll upload all three files. Make sure they're not too big. Uh, make sure they're not more than five megabytes per image, or they won't work. So now we have um, the pictures that we want. We can rearrange the order of the pictures, change things like that. Um, we can change which ones we want to drop out and actually delete them. We can add text to the videos if we want to, and we can add more and delete. So once we have the three in order that we want, we just hit continue. And yes, I know it's going to be a little short, but I'll hit OK anyway. Now you're going to select from your music. Again, you can select this upload from your computer, or you can select from their collection. What I did was select from their collection because I was kind of weary about uh, possible copyright infringement. So what I just did was a random electronica song, the first one, A Night in the Dark by John Kelly. So then I hit the select button, and this is the soundtrack information, so I just hit save and continue. And last but not least, this is an animated short, which means you can't go half speed or full speed. And then you choose the video cover screen, which I'm fine with this being, but you just click which one you want to be the cover screen. Next you hit continue, and type in a title and a description. The producer name, create video. This is the uh, this is where the patience part comes in. All you gotta do is wait till it initializes, goes through all these steps that you see here, and um, finishes rendering your video. When it is done, it will send you an email with the link to your video. So I'll show you what it looks like when the video is done. Right, guys, this is what it looks like when the video is done uploading. If you haven't already received an email, it will email you. You just hit the play button, And as you can see, I'll just pause it here, it actually puts in um, transitions for you. Now, it's a very short movie, obviously, but it puts in the transitions for you, and they're pretty cool. They go with the music. Uh, they'll be a little bit smoother in real life, obviously. And there, if I pause it, it says a title, which is the title created by Marquez Brownlee, etc. So that's pretty cool that it actually does that. So now it's here in my video. So if I hit the My Videos button in Animoto Projects, here it is. So... The next step to creating this as your YouTube actual introduction is clicking on this video, going to info. No, not going to info. First, you're just going to play it so it opens up the player. 
I'm going to pause it. And on the bottom here, you see export to YouTube. That's the first thing I did. So now you'll see, uh, and I just got an email from Animoto saying, here is your link. So now you will see, when you upload it, export it to YouTube, I'm just going to go to my YouTube page real quick. Everyone should hit that subscribe button if it was a subscribe button. And here is my official intro right there. This is the actual video. You have the URL up in the top box. But obviously, that doesn't make the intro to all your videos, does it? So, the second step, and I'll do a later video on this, is how to download the videos using YouTube Downloader. And what I did was actually downloaded the video and cut out the ending part that says the whole Animoto thing. Um, I cut that out in Windows Movie Maker, and then I set that as a beginning in HD to every single one of my videos. So I hope that helped you guys. Um, that is the way that I made my introduction, and that's hopefully the way you can make yours. If you like this tutorial, or if you have any other tutorials, just go ahead and subscribe and shoot me an idea, and I will do my best. Thanks for watching. Peace. One last thing. I have to mention that this was also a request by a YouTube user known as Unome, U-K-N-O-M-E. So I'll go ahead and check out his channel. It's in the description box. And um, I actually subscribe to his favorites because they're pretty good. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I hope this tutorial was really helpful. Again, shoot me your ideas. I do whatever video you ask me, whatever request you need. So thanks for watching. Peace.